out of five kids who've used tobacco started with a flavored product. That's according to the main organization, Flavors Hook Kids. Just this morning, people who want to ban the sale of flavored tobacco delivered their message to the South Portland City Hall. Hundreds of postcards were hand delivered today, all of them urging city councilors to vote to end the sale of flavored tobacco products in the city. The issue will be on the table at the council meeting one week from today. Similar ordinances have already been passed in Portland, Brunswick and Bangor. Organizers say they gathered signatures for more than 900 registered voters who support ending the sale of flavored tobacco. I think one of the things that's important to remember is that we have 40 tobacco retailers in South Portland and these retailers are located uh, in areas where kids spend their time. They're across the street from schools, from parks, uh, playgrounds, and so one of the reasons I think that South Portland residents are so concerned about this is that they've seen the data showing how many kids are using these products in South Portland, but also just knowing the proximity and the easy access that these kids can have. Dr. Tara Palatier says tobacco products at young ages can mean kids are not participating in sports or other activities and it could lead to addiction of other substances later in life. The CDC says one strategy to reduce how many young people start using tobacco is to restrict the sale of flavored products.